is we're starting with Tencent, which is a company that will be very familiar to people. It's the Chinese gaming and internet giant. Mm -hmm. It has a listing in Hong Kong where it is worth, I don't know, some bazillion number of Hong Kong dollars. <laughs> in mm. US dollars, it has a market cap, which my director, if he, thank you very much, $331 billion, mm. which translates accordingly. 48.9 price to earnings mm. ratio, dividend yield of 0.2%. So remember, mm. we talk about this company a lot because South African mm. listed Naspers owns 35% of Tencent. Mm -hmm. But forget about that. Let's just talk about Tencent and why we, it's such we, a great we, we company. We don't care about DSTV and all the other assets <laughs> that are for free. We're actually just looking at the... This is the one of the top yeah. 10 companies by value in the world. Uh, being above $300 yeah. billion dollars puts mm. you in the first, first, first top yeah, 10 division. Absolutely massive a a and very, uh, I suppose, dominant I in mainland China. So most of the revenues from Tencent yep. are, are mainland China based. I mean, if you look specifically at the online gaming revenue, I think it's 85% of it is local. A and it's interesting because they, I mean, while they have taken a stake in, in Activision, which is yep. uh, another one of the companies we're going to look at, um, you know, they, they haven't really managed to penetrate other, other territories. It's, it's very, very focused. Although they do own Supercell, which is a mm. Finnish game company, which, which has is got the old um, Clash of Clans, I think. Clash of Clans, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely, and that, that's a, uh, another acquisition. So I think it's definitely the strategy to try and move uh, outside of, of that, that purely in the gaming um, stuff. Yeah, Chinese But it's market. such a big business in China because, of course, mm. people have, you know, it's a, a relatively closed mm. society. Mm -hmm. There's enormous urbanization. Mm. People don't have lots of kids. They're mm. very attached to their cell phones. Lots of mm. young men who yeah. can't find spouses, so they stay home and play games. Yeah. And the WeChat platform of Tencent gives people the ability to do all of the in-game purchases. Just mm. explain to us what in-game purchases means. Well, in-game purchases, I suppose it's, it's almost like it's, it's the freemium model. Uh, yes. So, so you, you kind of can download the app for free and yeah. you can start playing it, but as soon as you want extra things inside the game, you need to pay for it. So, so either, either to, to respawn faster because yeah, you died. You need to upgrade, you need to buy Change things. your avatar. And e every game is Get different. Get a distant so skin. <laughs> exactly. Uh, make, make things look a little and bit better. And it's micro yeah. payments. So the point yeah. is it's like a trivial sum. You kind of look at it and go, your bank details ah, are already yeah. loaded. You're going to pay like, you know, mm. three UN in order to get a nicer <laughs> looking avatar. Sure, yeah. why wouldn't you? Yeah, why not? So but it but turns but into a cash spigot yeah, for the total company. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I mean, that's it. And, and it's really the size of the audience that they're speaking to. Yeah. And, and also, the I suppose you, you can also talk about the regulatory moats that they've got in, yeah. inside China as well. So, I mean, obviously, WeChat almost, uh, you, you know, you, you can hail cabs in it. You can, you, as yeah. you say, you can do payments. It, it's a, it's vastly more than a messaging app. It's mm. it's your full social media as well. And then, I mean, they've got plenty of other businesses inside there as well, all, all servicing that, that uh, Chinese tech demand, which, like I said, they've got a regulatory moat. That, you know, plenty mm. of other tech companies just can't operate in that territory. And that's because the Chinese government is very mm. keen to protect its own internet privacy issues for mm -hmm. security reasons as well. They don't want mm. people, you know, getting involved with uh, anti-government activities on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So they keep it all together. Uh, Tencent, though, in addition to its other gaming assets, as you said, has got mm. many other very, very valuable investments. 5% mm. of Activision Blizzard, 5% yeah. of Tesla, we yeah. know how well that's yeah. doing. Stake in Didi, mm -hmm. the call hailing thing, which yeah. is basically China's Uber because Uber yeah. threw its lot in there. Mm -hmm. A big stake like 15% in JD.com, which is the number mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. sort of Amazon equivalent mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. China. So you just add it all up, you can understand yeah. why it gets to this enormous no, Absolutely, Fantastic yeah. management as well. Pony yeah. Ma is one of the yeah. sort of best Chinese entrepreneurs <laughs> yeah. around. Absolutely, and, and I mean investing for the future. So you, I mean, obviously it trades on a, a, a ex look what looks like an excessive multiple, but mm. you know, over the last uh, you know five, five, six years, I mean, they've really delivered Incredible on, on those growth. earnings and, and yeah. the growth has been there. And I mean, they're investing for the future. So one of the, I suppose, the big themes in, in gaming as well as uh, some of the, the chip makers that we're going to talk about is AI as well. Mm. I mean, they're currently you know, poaching AI scientists from all over the place and they've, they've set up a, a special Huge number AI. of engineers working in their headquarters yeah, so, in Shenzhen, so just in, into China. China yeah. away from Hong Kong. Investing heavily in, 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 in technology as well. Finally, just they bought Riot Games in 2011, mm -hmm. which gave them League of Legends as well, yeah. which is another very, very popular mm -hmm. game across mm -hmm. the globe. Okay, and a whole bunch of other things. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. if you, there's a share price. Sure, I mean, what can you say? <laughs> if you want to earn 10 cents, you could either go and buy them in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. or you could look to buy them in their New York listing, which is, uh, you know, got an ADR, a little bit illiquid. Or you probably already own them in your NASPAS. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so in a sense, South Africans have got this one covered. We've mm -hmm. got it covered in the hot stocks portfolio. Yeah. But um, 
you know, I suppose. I think if you if you want to kind of own internet and and technology internationally, Tencent is one of the. You know, you talk about the Fang stocks, which yeah. is you know the Facebook, Netflix, Amazon, Google. Like mm. ten, Tencent is definitely up there with you know. Buy, to be in buy, there. Yeah, How can buy, we work buy. the T Fang <laughs> in there? <laughs> Fanked. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely. I think I think you want to own it absolutely. Yeah. But you know, for us, we don't own it in offshore portfolios because a lot of our, our clients have both a South yeah. African portfolio yeah. and an offshore yeah. portfolio, yeah. so they've, yeah. they've already got exposure yeah. to it. So we yeah. we kind of look for the diversification into other other international tech stocks, but if, if you didn't own NiceBus, for example, and you, you had a purely offshore portfolio, I think mm. Tencent definitely Tencent deserves a place. could be there, and you could yeah. buy them in New York. Okay, look, yeah. we can uh, go on all day, so we'd mm. better not hot on that one. Yeah, i got to be hot on Tencent. Brilliant company. Fantastic. Very hot. Okay.